Hi everyone, it's Farron here and I've got an unboxing video to do today and uh, I'm very excited about it as well. Uh, it's going to be my, um, I think it's, I'm going to do this as my next project. It's something I've been looking forward to the past several several months, saving up for this uh, monster. So um, I'm going to show you what I got and tell me what you think. I have got this, it's so darn big I cannot fit it into the fr camera frame. So there we go, the de Havilland Mosquito FB Mark VI. And it's the export version only, where you get the clear nacelles for the um, engines, but I won't be using those parts, because um, I want to use the proper ones. And I've had a quick look through, the, I've had a look at the, the parts in the bags, opened a few bags, and some very very nice uh, plastic I have to say and um, the detail is just so intricate and I recommend it to anyone who, who's got the you know the money to buy one of these I it took me about nine weeks I think it was seven or between seven and nine weeks to save up for this so um, I saved up for it ordered it last Tuesday got it today Saturday and I bought it on eBay from a company called Jadlam Models Racing Models, and they are situated in Somerset. And um, I've bought from them many times before, and I've never ever had a bad model from them or a bad um, service. It's always been on time, and the uh, prices seem to be a lot lower than anybody else. This was 119 pound, um, 99 pence. Um, I think the recommended retail price for this kit in the UK is £159, so there you go, you've got um, a 40 quid discount already. So very nice box art, very shiny, and then you've got this um, raised writing on the top here, very nice. I mean, you could probably, if you're clever enough, you can cut this all out and remount it, and use it for a cut, I don't know, waffling. On here, and then oh, I mean, you're going to be able to get to see it. There's the stills of the uh, cockpit, and then you got the under belly guns and the bombs in the bomb bay, and then over here you got the shot of the oh Christ, shot of the engines. There you go. That's pretty much it. And then the other bit on here, it's basically uh, the different variants. Uh, Borneo. And then you got this one also. Polish Squadron. And the other one on the front, of course, is the uh, another marking. So first up then, let's get this camera lower. The engine and the cells. Where I've got one open here already. Where are you? Here we go. So even the clear parts, the frosted clear parts. I mean, they're still holding up the detail rather nicely. It's just riveting and ribbing, and uh, you got a nice raised rivets even on this clear plastic yeah that's really nice and um, I like the way how Tammy have actually used this like cage oops let's get it in around the clear parts to actually protect it which I think is a very nice touch for, for them to do on the um, the other clear parts okay are the rest of them the cells And again, it's that frosted glass. So there's the part of it there. And the other side is just exactly the same. I'm not really going to go into good detail on that. Okay, but then we got the actual grey styrene parts, and you can see the detail on the inside there already is that is very nice. And that's just the basic side of it. I mean, over here you've got the ribbing. And you've got some small parts there as well. I don't know what they are though. 
But so far, all looking good. Okay, oh, pilots. There we go, pilots. A little detail on that. That is really nice. Nice one, Tamia. Go on ahead, focus. Ugh. Take my word for it, he looks good. <laughs> yeah, there's no, I can't see any flash on any parts yet. It's a really nice kit. I mean, this is your um, dorsal fin. So there's the main plane and there's a the rudder. And uh, yeah, I must admit, it does look really nice. It's really nice plastic. I know it's only plastic, guys, but there's another... Um, Pilot detail there. I think that's the standing pilot going by the looks of it. And the detail is very nice. Well, I'll take my hat off to Tanya. I certainly know how to put a plastic kit into production. Okay. She's a large half and bulkheads. So there you go. Not much detail there because you're going to have bulkheads go in there okay so it's not something you're gonna see but um, over here we've got our um, cockpit bulkheads or bombay bulkheads I'm not really sure but they're really nice clear parts you know, very nice indeed very crisp it's almost like a resin kit it is really nice and on these um, panels here See all those nuts and bolts and rivets. Oh, there's a really nice detail on there. I think these go on the sidewalls at the front of the cockpit. But it is very nice indeed. I'm putting them back in their bags because it's a lot of money there. Okay, we've got two lots of um, wings. Another one there. So we don't really need to see both of them. But there you go. Uh, some very nice detail there. I don't know what these parts are called, apart from these bits of the wings. But um, it does look very nice. It looks really good. Must be like, you know, like a fuel line there or something. I don't know, or it could be a hydraulic. But it does look good, it looks really nice, and the detail on the top, or the underside here rather, is it the top? It's the underside, is uh, the detail inside here. It's really nice, and you've got like the, it's got a bit of texturing around it. More rivets going along here, or nails, or screws, whatever they put the thing together with. But it is all really nice. Really nice detail, especially on these bits here. There's some raised details there, so try not to put the bloody file on there. So you're going to be counting these rivets on the instruction sheet and bloody replacing them. But oh, that's nice. All oh, lovely. staples in their bags okay engine got two sprues of these and just look at the detail on this all these engine parts absolutely lovely Very crisp, very clear. 
absolutely lovely. Sorry about that, the dogs decided to bark at nothing again. Okay, here's the other part of the uh, fuselage. So there we have it there, look. Um, but the uh, inside detail, this is upside down by the way for you guys, but it's just the way it is on the sprue. There you go. And you've got your Bombay doors there, which I'll be uh, opening them up. And I'm going to have all mine open because I want to have the bombs and the guns underneath exposed. You're paying for all that detail, so you might as well show it off. And um, and this is really nice. This is exquisite. Absolutely lovely. I mean, even on the inside of this bit, which you don't see. Oh, that's not detail. It's just where you place the parts. <laughs> Never mind. Live and learn. And you've got these uh, tanks of whatever they may be, fuel tanks, hydraulic, oil, I don't know, water, oxygen. There you go, there's nice detail on the straps and rivets around the middle there. I don't know what these parts are for. It looks kind of undercarriagey, but then again I'm wrong. Looking really good. Absolutely can't fault it. I've still got about 10, 15 sprues to go. I think this is more engine detail. Or detail for the uh, inside the engine nacelles or wheel wells, I don't know. But <laughs> it looks bloody good. Look at the detail on this baby here, that is lovely. This is really this is really cool. And the guns are really nice as well. Yeah. There's your guns. Not bad at all. I expect at some point someone will bring out brass guns and ammunition belts and full big head photo etch extravaganza for it all but oh look at that bit there this bit here this bit here that is lovely some really nice detail on there and no flash Oh, it's just really nice. I think these are all the little knickknacks, these little parts that go. Um, I think this is for the um, housings for the guns. I, I'm not sure, to be honest with you. I'm not going to try and guess and be a smart ass because I don't know. But this is looking really great. It's an excuse to buy two more to do the other two variants. Okay, engine assaults. Here you go. So you've got your basic ribbon inside there. It's very crisp. And there's no flash on anywhere to be seen. And then over here we've got the firewalls. Some nice detail on there. So all those rivets there, parts 18 and 19. And then on the reverse side, it's pretty much the same. There you go. And that's it on that sprue. I mean, other bits are... I don't know what they are. <laughs> it just looks good. It's nice eye candy. Okay. I'm assuming this is the wing spar. There you go. Going all the way across here. There you go. Got some... Um, some lines going through there for um, maybe that's electrics, you know, for the ignition or um, hydraulics, but I don't think it'd be hydraulics not going over a spar like that in a curve. But uh, it looks really nice. And there's your main instrument panel that comprises of about three or four parts because I think you've got to put on um, 
clear piece, photo etch, transfer, and then you paint it, blah blah blah, or the other way around, I should say. But um, the detail is just really nice. I mean, look at the radios. It's really nice work. Tammy, you've really done a brilliant job on this. The chair there. Nice textures going around the edge for the uh, padding. Obviously, us Brits wanted comfort while flying in those long missions, and why not? There you go, there's a radar screen there. Nice, lovely, look at that detail. That's really nice. I've already looked at that one. And there's more. I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. There's nine screws left. Alright, a couple of which are duplicates, like this one here on the landing gear. So here's all that. Um, I remember Freddie Duarte mentioning about these, um, the way Tammy have constructed their landing gear, the, sorry, the, the, the wheels, the tyres, is in several parts and they interlock like a jigsaw puzzle and it alleviates any joins. And uh, looking at the uh, details here that look at that. it's just beautiful the tread on it is really nice that is just gonna that'd be crying out for pigments wouldn't it to dust that up really nice and then you've got some sort of um, fuel tank there hydraulic tank I'm not sure uh, stuff for the landing gear I imagine these are the um, arms for the landing gear part of them anyway, the, the supports are very very nice and again there's no flashing so if you've got a decent set of side cutters you're not going to have a lot of clean up to do on the parts if your side cutters are really razor sharp, I mean you've got little tabs to take off here and here but they're very very minimal but looking at it, it's really nice I'm guessing these are the hydraulic fluids for the um, landing gear that one next, there's two of them, one on each sprue. You've got your landing gear struts over here. And again, it's a very nice detail. That's just so basically two halves. Really nice. I'd say it's worth every penny. Definitely. And looks like we've got the tail wing. Oh right, okay, all the ailerons and the tailor wing. Tail wing, not tailor wing. It's looking really nice. Hmm. Let you be the judges. So obviously these uh, actually go into the rear. They allow them to be workable. That's what I'm assuming. It looks like a working part to me. And there's four of them. some detailed parts there so obviously that's going to be for this construction Look, looks like it that's uh, that looks like one assembly on there but again I could be wrong I don't really know what I'm doing here just looks, just enjoying what I'm doing it's a really nice kit guys and we're coming at 20 minutes on this review and I've still got one, two, three, four, five, six sprues to go. Okay, this is the um, cockpit floor. And a lot of the instrumentation. So, yep, here we go. Some very nice detail there. Let's just turn it over. And just look at all that, that is beautiful. And we've got all this, like uh, these junction boxes and wires. Hey, <laughs> great. Isn't it? Isn't that just nice? All these instruments on the side over here. 
That is really good. I can see why people, you know, lean towards, you know, Tamiya because they're just clean kits, they're well engineered. And there's, you just can't see anything wrong with it. You know, it's just a really, really nice model kit. Well, I suppose the judging will have to be done while making it. Okay, I lost count on the sprues. Uh -huh. What is this? Oh, we've already looked at one of them. That's a duplicate. Okay, we haven't seen this one. So your propellers. So you've got your pointed propeller and your paddle. So looking pretty good, and again, I have not seen a single ounce of um, any flash. There's one of the bombs there. Look, it's one, two. You got four bombs by the looks of it. Yep. And there's the um, undercarriage doors. Really nice detail. And look, and the nice detail on the um, bomb release mechanism there. Look. job oh come on man thank you there you go yeah, that's quite nice quite nice indeed okay I'll put the bag on that in a minute on that one and lastly the, clear, the main clear parts so here's all your dials and glass doors if you have windows landing lights etc so very nice and uh just do a little test shall we no distortion hardly minuscule amount that is lovely that's the first set of um, clear parts now the last part we're going to be looking at with the model is the um, canopy. And just bear with me while I just take out these um, staples. Here we go. There's a little cage they've kind of moulded it around to protect it. That is fantastic. Well done, Tamiya. Well done. That is really nice. And here we go, look. No distortion whatsoever. Lovely, absolutely lovely. So guys, that's all the parts. Um, what's left to do, to look at is, well, we have a manual. Oh, almost forgotten. We get photo etch parts as well. It's a double fret. I'm not gonna take it off because it's stuck down good and proper okay so but we all know what a bit of photo -like looks like um, you can also with the kit you get um, like this your uh, instructions for painting which is very nice and your decaling as well uh, on here on this piece of paper it only gives you the uh, basic layout for the decals none of the stencils And then in another bag, what else do we get? Transparent, oh, okay. You got a little tool kit, you get magnets in there, which is always there, nuts and bolts, you get some bars, um, different types of screws, poly caps, and a little screwdriver. As you can see there. Yep. And also, you get a little booklet. Yeah, this is well. Oh wow! You know all the reference pictures for the engines and under undercarriage in the cockpit. Would you look at that? That is so nice. 
and that's going to be nice having that at your own level when you're actually referring to it rather than having to look up to the screen all the time in order to actually um yeah that's really nice yeah i really like that so much fun there we go some more drawings here really nice so it's, uh, it's only about a 10 page booklet but it's really good quality and look at these pictures here on the actual uh, ammunition uh, feeding uh, things whatever you call them that's really nice excellent and now we've got a bit more of this over here as well whatever this may be this is another variant look for under the wings we've got rockets I haven't seen that in the instruction manual mind and I think this is a history on different variants and their uh, actual uh, yeah looks like it doesn't it and what else we've got in here the decals I hope they're going to be good decals because um, we all know they have a they have a rep for bad decals so let's hope We've got some nice ones in here. Uh huh. Oh, these ain't too bad actually, because these are not. Um, a little bit thick, I guess. But they're not super shiny. One thing I like about 132 scale decals is I can see them. Oh, very bad eyesight. And there you go, and there's all your stenciling. Not as bad as a F15 Strike Eagle when you put the stencils on, but you've got some lovely markings there. Bit of artwork for the, for the uh, door. You've got a map there for the navigators, uh, clipboard, and you've got your masks. As you can see there, um, you have to cut cut these out yourself. All right, these are not pre-cut, so um, it might, well, it's entirely up to you if you want to wait until Edward release one, or if they've already released one, and you buy it and use that, or you do it the old-fashioned way and you just put masking tape on the canopy and you just cut it out like you normally do. But um, the way that canopy looks on that model there, that needs a lot of TLC. So there you have it gents, apart from the instructions I've sh I haven't shown, because uh, we're running out, what, half an hour on this build, or build on this kit already, so this is the instruction manual, it's black and white, it is as thick as a magazine, 50 odd pages, and um, all your do's and don'ts, okay, just Tamiya colour call outs, as they always do. And then you've got um, three little options at the bottom here of uh, choices you can do in the kit. It tells you how to apply your um, stencils for the canopy. And then basically your construction starts with the uh, cockpit, as you see here. And it, one thing I know is it gives you little reminders that if you're going to put the pilots in, it have to be constructed and painted at the time at the same time as when you're doing the actual main cockpit. They, else they won't fit in afterwards. And again, this just goes on and on each, each stage, and it's very clear and very very easy to understand. As Tammy have always done, clear, concise instructions. So guys, this is looking really good. This is very really nice. And there we go, we've got to tell about the wheels, look. There you go, look, see, you've got all these separate parts making up the treads. It's really nice. Good stuff, I mean, that's pretty much it, guys. I can't really go, go on anymore. We all know what an instruction book looks like, don't we? I mean, I ain't going to waffle on and on and on. It's half hour now. I'm getting bored as well. So, there you have it. Tammy is de Havilland Mosquito FB Max 6. So, um... 
marks out of 10 for first views okay i give it 10 out of 10 because looking at it there's i haven't seen one defect on any sprue and i've already gone over this kit twice already before because this is like the fourth take i make on this video now but the uh, parts i have not seen one like i say i haven't seen one blemish defect it is just a nice clean kit and that's what i like i really really like that i'm gonna finish my rider i've just got to put the canopy on and the uh, engine cowlings and i'm done so uh, and then i'll be doing uh, a final reveal on that sometime next week okay and uh, what else have we got now that's pretty much it guys so thank you for staying this long if you stay this long well done thank you very much it's, it's appreciated and uh, and i'm going to try and do a stage by stage uh, video diary on this kit okay because it's a it's a big kit and I think it deserves a lot of attention and um, I've got to buy all the paints for this yet because I've got no RAF paints except for the uh, interior colour I mean basic colours like uh, your red whites and blues yeah fine I've got all that black but it's the I think the only thing I need to buy really is just the um, colours for the um, camouflage really and I think that's it anyway thank you all for watching and thank you for listening to me going on and on about this wonderful kit and we'll see you all in the next video. Thank you so much. Bye for now.